Hey, this is Bill Romer from PianoFast.com, and in this video, I'd like to talk about some shortcuts for playing left-hand piano. So there's no need to get all tied up or wrapped around the idea of what to play in your left hand when you've got chords or melody or both in the right hand, because the simplest thing you can play in the left hand is just the root of the chord, and I'll show you how this works for different styles and how you can use it. Um, so you may hear some complicated left hand or see it written that way in piano music if you read music at all uh, but it doesn't have to be all that complicated so for example let's take a tune like uh, Route 66 so normally when I play this tune I would play something like a walking bass so um, which makes any tune sound really cool Uh, but you don't need to get that complicated to play this song. Um, now, that was more of an accompaniment type uh, of piano playing, so that there would be um, an instrumentalist or singer along with it. So somebody is singing, uh, If you ever planned the motor west Take the highway, that's the highway, that's the best Get your kicks on Route 66 so, uh, yeah, taking a lot of liberty there with the melody line. Sorry about that. Um, but let's really simplify this, the left hand especially, okay? And the right hand too, just the chords. So our chords here, at least in this first part of the song, are just an F7 and then a B flat 7 because we're basically playing, uh, well, we are playing the blues in the key of F. So in the left hand, if we just hit the root... Now, if we just hold that root of the chord, that F, and then play, this is first inversion uh, of an F7 chord up here, A, C, E flat, and F. If you ever plan to motor west. Now, that sounds a little bit boring uh, because the piano is not only a melodic and harmonic instrument, it is a rhythmic instrument too, which is what makes it so interesting, uh, at least to me and to millions of other people. So uh, to do, to, we want to get some rhythm out of the left hand then, okay? Because uh, a lot of times that's where the rhythm happens. If it's not just the left hand, it's between them, the way they interact. But for now, we'll focus just on the left hand. And to get a little rhythm down there, we can just bounce that root. So I'm playing octaves in the root here. This is an F7 chord, and I'm playing octaves. And I just want to bounce between those two notes to get some rhythm. Uh, either repeating a note or bouncing back and forth between them. But I'm not going to use any other notes, just the F. Okay, so uh, it'll be like... Uh, if you ever plan to move west Take the highway, that's the byway, that's the best Get your kicks on Route 66 Okay, now... There were a couple other chords in there, too, because uh, I went further in the song. So we have um, a G minor 7 and a uh, either a C7, like that, or a C sus chord, which is another lesson altogether. So we'll just call it a C7 for now. But a couple things happen. So on that F7 chord... You got to feel and hear that swing tempo going in the background. So, uh, a one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay. Now that rhythm becomes sort of implied because people are generally familiar with this song, and as you sing it in a swing tempo, that rhythm comes through implicitly. So. Uh, if you ever plan to move west Take the highway, that's the byway, that's the best And this is an A minor 7 flat 5 to a D7 flat 9 Get your kicks, G minor 7, on route 66 And then G minor 7 and C7 again But on all of those chords, I'm only playing the root of the chord, either by itself or in octaves. And so I'm either bouncing in between those two octaves notes, A, 
adding a little rhythm in my right hand, so kind of syncopated. So one and three, four, one, two, 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 like that. So that combination of the two hands gives the rhythm, but in the left hand, again, all I'm doing is playing either the root note itself or the octave back and forth to give a little bounce. And when I go to the next chord, let's say I'm moving from the F7 to the B flat 7. In this case, I played a B flat 9, so A flat, C, D, and F. To get to that next chord, I bounced from that F. So I went, you ever, and then I bounced from the F like that, and then back uh, back to the F to Motor West and then I bounce from the F to the B flat so right before I get to the next chord before my root changes in the left hand I use that same note that F in this case and I just bounce to the next one in this case we got a swing tempo going on So you can do that with any tempo then. So uh, like a Latin tempo, same chords. Actually, let's make it an F major 9. To a B flat 7, or a B flat 9. Oh, sorry. Again, just the octaves reinforcing that rhythm in the left hand. And syncopating in the right hand a little bit to uh, add some depth to that rhythm. So in a ballad, I can do the same thing. Uh, let's see, let's do an F major 9 again. To a B flat major 9. And again, I bounced from root to root. Have a little bit of rhythm in the left hand. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. But again, I'm still just staying on the root of the chord. Okay. So you can try that with uh, just about any rhythm that you like. Just use those roots and then bounce from one root to the next. The other thing you can do in the left hand to go one step uh, a little more complicated than that is to use the fifth of the chord in addition to the root. So in this case, let's go back to our F. 7 chord. The 5 or the 5th uh, tone of the F7 chord is 1, 3, 5 is C. So a good uh, bass pattern to put in is going between the root and the 5th. So the F and the C. Back to the B flat 9. And in the Latin music, you can do that also. Um, let's go to our F major 9. Just back and forth between those two notes, the 1 and the 5. There's the B flat major 9. Back to F major 9. B flat major 9. All right. And same with the ballad. So, um, I think that's enough to digest for now. My point with this whole video is you do not need to make the left hand very complicated. Just make it simple and then, um, I don't want to say complicated, but make it a little more complex and interesting by adding some rhythm to it, both in the left hand and adding your right hand in there too to go back and forth. remember to get that bounce in there for the swing or that steady rhythm maybe with like a dotted quarter note eighth note feel for Latin or even a ballad
and then try introducing the fifth in there also in the root to add even a little bit more variety uh, and um, uh, complexity I guess I should say to make it sound more interesting so you don't need to be overly complicated with the left hand just keep that rhythm going and you'll get a lot out of just either playing a nice low root of the chord or reinforcing that root with octaves to get a solid sound in addition to the rhythm in the left hand okay so I hope this video helps you there are some tips on playing left hand piano more easily than hopefully that you thought it was. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that video. This is Bill Romer from PianoFast.com. Come on over and check out my blog and some other free lessons on there and resources um, that will help you improve your piano playing. Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.